Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency markets and some uh, cryptocurrencies that I am looking at for a setup. And it's going to be BTC or Bitcoin dependent. And by the way, if you just land here, do me a huge favor. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. It'd be really, really appreciated, guys. Help a guy growing a small channel out. Help him get a little bit bigger. But new subscribers, I do appreciate you too. So here's the deal, guys. Um, I've gone over this multiple times right here with Bitcoin. Um, I have the five-wave sequence on there. It could be wrong, but that's what I have for the time being right now. I'm kind of expecting Bitcoin to be popping up like it started to do. It just took its time. Remember what I said with this whole situation, what's going on with Bitcoin, it's probably going to take a little bit of time. I'm still looking at a time frame by the end of January, maybe the beginning of February. Now, could it get dragged on longer? It could, guys. It could. So you want to be aware of that, okay? Just because of the macro environment. Now, Bitcoin up here, you can plainly see what's going on in this whole structure right here, guys, because you just come down here to the RSI and this four-hour RSI, it's getting up there pretty good, okay? And you have a good shot. It might get up there a little bit more like this, okay? Just like so. And if it gets, starts getting up like that, more than likely, Bitcoin's going to turn around and get back down here, okay? How deep that's going to go, I have no idea, guys. But I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that that could be going on pretty well, all right? So here is what I'm doing. I'm going to go over some cryptos instead of making a video just on specific cryptos. Because, um, well, you have to be careful what you pick right now. You want to get assets that are bullish or trying to go bullish at a minimum instead of uh, catching, say, uh, a falling knife, right? Um, probably don't want to take that risk right now unless you're really, really optimistic about that coin. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to let you know. I'm looking at Solana for short entry, guys, into that. Okay. I posted that on Twitter. If it gets up there high enough, we shall see. No guarantees, no guarantees. I want to see proper setup and signals here in the four hour. It could rip rip another one off here for Solana. I'll be looking for down, up, and some a good amount of divergence in this area on the four hour, at least for Solana. Um, could miss it though. It could have been done right there, guys. Um, another coin I posted on Twitter, I was checking out that uh, you want to be paying attention to right here. Lido Dow. It looks like Lido is trying to possibly maybe rip off a uh, sequence there. And I'm going to keep the wick out. Let's see. Yeah. So here's the deal with Lido. More than likely, it busted out all that. So Lido could have finished some sort of correction there. Um, what I would do with Lido, guys. Now, this coin, I keep going over this coin. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This coin is going, once the crypto market, Bitcoin does a bottom somewhere, wherever that's going to be. This coin right here, and then uh, Ethereum does too. This one's going to rip off some pretty decent gains, okay? Pretty decent gains. Over here, it ripped off, uh, let's see. Let's say you were late to the party and you enter exit out 400% from, from here to, to there, okay? 400%. It's not even the whole thing. So you could be looking at something like that over here, guys. So what I would do with Lido, it's pretty simple. Let's see where it goes and then get it on a correction, okay? Because it's going to correct. If Bitcoin's going to come down, this is going to drag it down with it. And then what you can do is play it off that low of 88 cents. I would like to see it get down back down below a dollar again, guys. I really would. Um, like 95, 93 cents or something like that. That would be really, really awesome area to get it. But it's definitely coming into a topping pattern. You can see right there, this could be a third wave back down for a fourth and up for a fifth. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, possibly. Just have to let it play out, guys, right now. Don't enter into anything like that. It's plainly obvious what will happen if you buy a coin like that right now, okay? So that kind of surprised me. You know, it's bullish. Um, another coin I've been going over with you guys is Quant. Quant is looking pretty decent and went up there pretty high too. Um, this was one, two, three, four. And with Quant, um, if that gets up there above there, that second wave gets up above this wave, you know, then you have to reevaluate what's going to be going on with Quant. Okay. So then 
the third wave, it went so high, the third waves might, it's not, not going to go as deep more than likely. And it might knock out a fourth wave and then a fifth wave just coming down to these areas. Okay. So you can see quant here is looking pretty good guys. That's what I expect with quant. Same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going up. Looks like it's setting itself up. Boom. And just, this will be the area for quant guys right there. Okay. Top end target 99. And then it could go as low as 86. You want to see it maintain this 79 or 80. You don't want to see it go below there, but it looks like it's not going to do that. So quant will be in this area, guys. Overall picture with it. Take a look at that. Okay. So everything goes according to plan. Back down this area. And then you have a bullish setup right here. Off of this wave, this wave, and then back down in this area right over here. BTC dependent. Bitcoin dependent, okay? Not financial advice, but that's what I'm uh, be planning right there, guys. So the beginning of this year is starting to look actually pretty decent. Um, CASPA is another one. It's coming together finally, guys. Um, you know, this is a little bit higher risk. I posted this on Twitter too. It's looking like CASPA is going to make the three-way move. And I just expect probably some sort of uh, five-wave sequence back down, okay? It could be a diagonal or it could, uh, it could be a deep wave. But the bottom area of this target right here is going to be the target, okay? This fourth wave right here is going to be the target, guys. That's where they like to go to. Come right back down in here. I'm accumulating. I'm accumulating a little bit of this coin. Let it go back up. And then I'm going to get some more back down here with this coin, guys, okay? And then uh, CASPA comes down. Bitcoin goes down. So here's Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin makes its trek back down. CASPA can make its trek back down and then get set up right over here. And preferably, Bitcoin will be down in this area, evaluate, boom, and then CASPA back in this area, boom, right over there, guys. And you'd be in a one, two. So this would be the overall overall deal right here with CASPA, your one, and then your two, and then be going into that wave right there, guys. That's what I'm uh, planning for. BTC, Bitcoin dependent. Remember that. Okay. What was the... Uh, what was the other coin that I was going over? Let me go to my Twitter page here, guys, for a second. Let me go to my Twitter page. I went over, uh, oh, Luxo, K-A-S, Luxo, Lido, Solana. Luxo coin. I'll go over that real quick. Luxo is uh, ripped off. I made a video about that. I said, uh-oh, did I miss it? Um, you know, you can't catch them all. But I was expecting this to roll back over down into this box right here. And you can see, look, it just barely missed the box target. And I think that Luxo's in this wave, third wave, possibly might do a fourth, then a fifth, back up for a fi uh, for another fifth, a fourth and fifth. And then it could do a correction over here, guys. That would be the area. Correct back up over here. And then probably a target back down to 759. It could, you know, come all the way down to the 580. So that area. Okay, just pay attention to this one right here, guys, because Luxo is, um, you know, here's its wave over here, and then this whole thing possibly could be the correction of flat move right here, and then up, back down, and then it's getting out of there, okay? You want to make sure it didn't turn into some sort of like A, B, C, D, E, or something, some sort of triangle is what I'm paying attention to, make sure it didn't do that, so be aware of that too, guys, um, all right? So that's pretty much everything I'm going over that's looking actually really, really good, for uh, decent setups coming. It's just right now, all eyes are going to be on uh, Bitcoin, in my opinion. Okay. So here on the eight hour, it's not too high in the RSI yet. This is what I'm checking out. Four hour, it's getting up there. Pretty decent. Okay. And then also in two hour, it's getting up there. So you see how this one went up. You know, on the two hour, you start just checking it to see what it's going to do. I think it's going to make another thrust up. And then with Bitcoin, the overall picture that I have, let me go to a daily chart. Now, don't hold me to this count because you could have a variety of options with what it's doing in here, okay? So you could have ABC back up for a three-wave swing and then ABC back down for a uh, WXY move, or you could have one, two, three, four, five. I have that just count on there right now. The reason I believe that this is a diagonal is because this fourth wave or this wave right here came to the bottom part of those waves right here and tagged it and got rejected off of that. So you have a good shot that either right here at a minimum with Bitcoin is that you have a one, two, three, four, five, or you just have a B wave, possibly it could be a B wave and then a dump on a C wave. Okay. It seems more reasonable that that could be it, 
So you can see how there, there's confusion, you know, with what it's exactly doing in this wave sequence. Because if it's a one, two, three, four, and then five, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, more than likely. But if it's A, like here's A, B, C for your wave, back up, and then A, B, and then a C, it still should be a one, two, three, four, five. Just don't know yet, guys. Just see how it plays out. Still have that bottom uh, target, 14,600, and then going as low as uh, 13,700, 800 in that area. And going to the 12-month candles. Let me see what we have here. Let me blow this up for you. I'll show you. A guy, a follower on my channel made me aware of this. I didn't even realize this. On the yearly candles, it would be right on top of those year, uh, monthly candles, 12-month candles right there, guys, would be the target. So just as an example, a wick off of that target, right? Right there. Okay? Boom. And that is 13, 14,000, basically. 13,800, 14,000, potentially, is what I'm looking at. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.